Let me show you what we're making for dinner tonight. We're going to make chicken breasts in the Kasori multi cooker. This is the 11 in 1 function multi cooker, and I think it's great. I use it for so many things. I'm going to use four boneless, skinless chicken breasts, some apple juice, which is pure pressed. You could also use apple cider. Also, we're going to use a couple of sweet potatoes, some apples, and also some seasoning. Ginger, ground nutmeg, and paprika. We're going to put this together for a nice fall meal that we'll open up later in the day. So let me show you how to assemble this. The one reason I like to use the Kasori multi-cooker is I like to brown and cook like a slow cooker method in the same pot without changing dishes or having extra appliances for one dinner. If you watch some of my videos you'll see that I take advantage of all the different functions in this multi-cooker. To start with I'm going to brown the chicken breast. So we'll turn the dial to brown and it's going to preheat to 350 degrees. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the multi-cooker and when it comes up to temperature we're going to put the chicken breast right in there. In the meantime, I'm going to prep the other fruit vegetable thingies that we're going to add in here. I have some gorgeous big sweet potatoes here. I like to keep the skin at, on the vegetables and fruit that I cook if I possibly can. In this case, we can easily do that. And that gives you more nutrients and more fiber, so all that's good. All I'm going to do here with the sweet potatoes is cut off the ugly parts and I'm going to separate these into chunks. Also with the apples I'm using a variety. I have some Fuji, I have some Gala, whatever I have in the cabinet at the time is what we're going to throw in here but that's what I have today. Some Gala and Fuji. Um, also I'm just going to core them and cut them into slices leaving the skins on. You can take all the skins off of the stuff if you prefer. Not everybody always eats the skins, but sometimes they do. And all I recommend is just cut off the parts that you wouldn't want to eat. That's how I look at it. These are pretty nice and I believe they're fresh, very fresh. Now, since we're going to cook this all day, I like to leave the sweet potatoes into rather large chunks. Alright, the oil is heated up and the cooker is ready to go. Let's just put the chicken breasts in there and get them started. All we really want to do here is a nice brown edge before we start the cooking. Alright, we're getting a nice sizzle here. Let's turn them over and just do the other side a little bit too. These are nice thick pieces of chicken, so it'll take all day to cook them in a low temperature. But it's always nice when the chicken has an edge on it that's nice and brown. Alright, get a little more time there. 
All right, I think we're ready to go with this. I'm starting to see some of the chicken juices coming out in the bottom here. Take a look at the bottom side. Alright, I'm going to arrange these so that the smooth side is up, and that way when we take them out, we can put them right on the plate, and they'll look very nice. So then we won't have this side that's curled under a little bit. So they're all going to be coming out the same way. Those are um, about three pounds of chicken total. All right, now I'm going to put the sweet potatoes in here all along the way. This way, that way, it doesn't matter. They're all going to cook nicely today in this pot. You can use the crock pot that you might have, but this is a great multi-cooker because, as you can see, we ground things first. And it's very easy to control the temperature in this if you want to set it for a higher or lower temperature. All, right, all the apples go in. I'm putting them on top because they would cook a lot faster than the other ingredients. And then I'm going to use three seasonings. I'm going to use ground ginger. I'm going to sprinkle that around. some nutmeg and these flavorings go good with apples and the fall season tastes and I'm going to use paprika to give a little of the savory taste to the chicken too I like this combination then you can buy apple cider at your local apple places um, if you have a chance to get something like that that's always nice I'm using the Simply Apple Field Press Juice. And this is very much like apple cider. And I'm just going to pour enough in here to be about two cups. You want to have enough that the, um, the juices flow around the meat and also onto the sweet potatoes as all this starts to cook down. And the apple juices will come out too, so it's all good steamy flavor that's going to go on in this pot today. Looks great, huh? Okay, we're going to come back in about eight hours and have this for dinner. In the meantime, I'm going to change the settings on the cooker here. I'm going to take it off of the browning mode, which I did leave it on brown while I filled this pot, so the pot stays good and hot. But now we're going to cancel that function. And I'm going to put it on the slow cooker side. I'm going to cook it on medium all day long. And that's 194 degrees. Now this is set as a preset to cook for six hours, but we're going to change that to eight hours. set. We'll be back when everything's cooked and delicious and ready to eat. All right, the cooking time is finished, so let's check it out. Sure smells good in here. Okay, looks great. The apples on top. Let's see how nice and tender they are. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Perfect. So let's take them out, put them on a plate.
Oh, I can see the cinnamon in the in the broth. The sweet potatoes are nice and tender. You can smell all the nice fall spices in here. Now we have to get some chicken. chicken breast. I'm just going to put some more apples on top of this and serve it with some of the juices. All right. Let's cut the chicken open and see how it looks. Oh, the Chicken's so nice and tender, it's falling right apart. Put it into some of those juices. And let's have a taste with some apples. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Mmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. That combination is so good. That apple cider juice on there is just delicious. Okay, I highly recommend this for a nice fall meal. Try this recipe if you get a chance. It's really good. Thanks for watching my video.